who you wanted here and uh, the ones that couldn't make it, Lord, just uh, please put a hedge of protection and blessing around those. So, Lord, let us just come to you tonight and open our mouths and heart and ears and just, you know, Lord, just let us all participate. You know, let, let us get out what we got on our mind and, and uh, we just want to bring you all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo, that's hot. Hot. Hot box. Praise God. Twitch said louder. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Twitch said. <laughs> Praise God. If y'all would pray for uh, pray for Tanya this evening. Um, as you know, she uh, she's just being obedient to the Holy Spirit. Can you get an amen? Amen. She's just being obedient to the Holy Spirit, and uh, she put herself out there to watch our little ones during Tuesday nights Amen. so that parents, grandparents can be in, in fellowship. So I, I'm just so in awe about that because when a brother or sister, you know, makes a sacrifice, because I know, I know you know, she wouldn't want to be in them. And she was there last week, so I'm so thankful for that. Um, if you would, please make sure you fill out your, uh, your sign-up sheets. Um, it, it blesses the ministry as far as for I Am Recovered. Um, many of you don't know that um, I Am Recovered is part of God's Hand Ministries, a 501c3 organization that is actually registered with the government, and it is a recovery ministry. Amen. And um, the beauty is, is that having said all that, we're also um, registered with the government as far as for grants and everything else. But also, also, it's not only accountability as far as you know, just making sure we take everybody in account that attends. But also in the future, what we're believing and speaking is that we're going to have trained, trained, certified pastors, evangelists, ministers that has been through I Am Recovered. And um, I'm just so excited. And, um, you know, it's amazing because for, uh, for, for a month now, Holy Spirit, have me hold on to this, and I'm just going to show it to you. This is our first published book. Amen. And, uh, right now, at this moment, God said you can announce it. So, um, this is I Am Recovered, as you can see on the set, on everything that we've been going through, and by the grace of God, this, this, this um, workbook took four years to to come to manifest manifestation over four years. And um, by the grace of God, this is something that was laid on our hearts even before we started writing a single. And um, I just want to say thank you to our church family because as you guys know, we implemented this last year, a little over, almost two years ago. And um, praise God, we saw the fruit of what Holy Spirit did and uh, many of you, many of you have been faithfully through it already. So uh, the, the, the purpose behind this, bottom line, is to be intimate with God through Holy Spirit. And the only way you get Holy Spirit is through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and this is, I mean, right now, by the grace of God, I'm not boasting on anything but my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, with it just being published and everything. You can get it at Amazon, you know, and um, you just you just go to Amazon and just type in I Am Recovered. You'll see this book. You'll see right here in big bold letters, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, I just want you to know that this is the manifestation. God told me that if I was to come get you today, what are you leaving behind? And for, I can't tell you. For four years, Trish will tell you. I was like, it's almost done, it's almost done. And God kept telling me, it's not done yet, it's not done yet. And like I said, over a month ago, he said it's done, it's complete. Oh. And praise God, it's a, it's a process and everything. And uh, I'm just so thankful. And I give God all the glory. And uh, I ask you guys, I ask you guys that, uh, if God lays on your heart to get the book, let us know because um, we can get special deals on it. 
But uh, I also ask for you to uh, keep this in prayer because what we're hoping in the future is that all the seeds sown into selling this book into the ministry in God's hand that we can provide books to prisons yeah. and to recovery centers. Yeah. And, uh, and, then this, and that's like, well, this is all of us now. You hear me? This is all of us. We're family. I mean, we're, we're one. And uh, once again, I just want to say thank you so much for your faithfulness. Hallelujah. And it is a workbook. Glory to God. It is a workbook. Um, when, when, when you get a chance to check it out, it is a workbook. Um, you'll, you'll find, which is so sweet of the Lord, you'll find that last year when we were meeting, um, a lot of our handouts, you'll find some of those handouts in here, and then, and then more, more handouts. Um, it's, it's just enough, enough. I just wanted to, maybe we'll talk about it some more. Hallelujah. We got more to discuss. Praise God. Hallelujah. You, you guys are getting a book from us. No, no, you guys are getting a book from us. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> um, so thank you for filling out your sheets. Um, let's pray the prayer together, if y'all would stand. We did, we did things a little differently. Um, we had our, our music, and we're going to jump right into it. Is that all right? Praise God. Don't be scratchy. Nope. Hallelujah. <laughs> all right, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive in our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Holy Spirit, help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Praise God. High five. High five. Praise God. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> PJ, come on. Come on, slap on the face. <laughs> The PJ just come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, come on. Don't even let it go, Another one. We can't get it on. <laughs> Glory to God. God is good? All the time. All the time. Praise God. All the time. All the time. Praise God. Step two, we're now in step two of this um, 12 step, 12 principle worship service. Step two is titled Chosen. And our scripture for Chosen is this Put on therefore, when it says therefore, therefore. right? God put it there because it's there for a reason. Amen. As the elect of God, let's bless Holy Spirit right now and say, I am. I am. You're elected. You're elected. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. Right here, God is already saying, because you receive my gift, because you receive what I freely give to you, this is automatically who you are. You are chosen. Amen. 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 Now, you know, this is the thing that many, many, I'm going to say it, just, I'm just going to say it. Many people misunderstand predestination. When, when humans hear predestination or predestined, immediately their interpretation is, well, that means you already set me up to fail. That means that you already, right? Because we're human thinking. But when God says, I predestined you, you need to understand, he's not in our time frame. Amen? And this is just going to nip everything in the bud. Amen. John 3, 16. Who did Lord Jesus Christ die for? Amen. The Word. Amen? So the bottom line is, God predestined everybody to be with Him. Hallelujah. But God predestined everybody to be blessed. So you see, God wants every soul to call out to Lord Jesus. But it's your choice. Amen. I, 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 I just had a, oh my God, it, it, it happened on Sunday. 
I'm not going to get too much into it, but it, it broke my heart because I had a brother tell me that he had someone close to him that uh, passed. And uh, already, right away, when you have somebody passed from this life, God knows. Say it with me, God knows. God knows. God knows the hurt that you feel. Yes. See, that's the big disconnection, brother Mike. A lot of people don't understand that God has that intimacy with you. Amen. That as much as you hurt, he hurts more because he is God. Amen. He is God. And he knows exactly what you're going through and how you feel. Brother Joey, that's a bold statement. How can you make such a statement? Look at Jesus. Amen. Come on now, look at Jesus, right? His, his everything right there. His everything nailed to the cross, beaten, spit on Grabbing his beard, pulling it out, throwing him on the ground, spitting on him, kicking him. Are you going to tell me that my God didn't go, Ugh. angels that you can't even possibly comprehend? Just, Father, just say it. And he just took it. This is a God made love, family. Father, say with me, Father. Father, looking at the perfect one, his son, his one and only for all eternity, looking at him, bleeding out, carrying every sin, every sickness, every disease, every torture, every garbage thing, he's carrying it. And he's going, and he knew when that last piece of sin went on him, And then to look away and to hear all of heaven roar when Lord Jesus says, why, Father? Why, God? Why, God, did you forsake me? And then for Holy Spirit to leave the perfect temple. Can you imagine? That perfect temple. See, the devil saw God defeated on the cross, didn't he? Right? The devil saw, look at the Son of God, look what my world did to him. Yeah. How many of you, just, just a show of confession, how many of you felt that way through your situation and circumstance? Right. Maybe it's only me. I'm, maybe I'll raise, if I could float, I'd raise all. Yeah. Just battered, bruised, and look, mm, look. <laughs> Joey's supposed to be a child, I look at him, he's struggling. Right? But say it with me, but God. But God. You see, when Holy Spirit was released from that perfect temple, Holy Spirit said, now it's paid in full. I'm going to rip that veil in half. And in three days, we're going to do some damage. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And you are. You are. Say it with me. I am. A child of God. You are the temple of God. Amen. So here's the goal. Here's the charge. Here's the anointing. As the temple of God, are you destroying the kingdom of darkness or are you just Eeyore? Oh, look at me. Poor little me. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares for me. Yes, Jesus is my Lord, but you just don't know about me. Oh, look at me. What about me? Oh, Jesus is my Lord, but look at me. What about, right? It's not about you, priest, sis. Glory to God, you're glowing. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Bless Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So, number two step is why me? And the key to unlock this is you're chosen. Say with me, I am chosen. I am chosen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get into this. We got a lot to go through. Praise God. It'll be a miracle. God, you are time. Hold time still. He's done it many times. Amen. 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 So the power of affirm. Say with me, affirm. Affirm. In principle two, affirm. Affirm who I am, do I believe, or do I worry? You see, when a situation comes your way, when someone makes a comment or attacks you, when someone that you trust or love violates you, Right? It does something to you, whether you allow it or not. I'm just going to be straight up with you. We're humans. And this thing 
that tries to come against you, right, Sister Amy? You may, you may be guarded up. Many of you, glory to God, we're family, I know you. you you're guarded up, you're focused on Jesus, but sometimes something, because guess what? We can't control what we hear, right? Sometimes we can't even control what we see. Amen? Amen. I mean, think about it. If we had somebody crazy just run out here butt naked and run across, many of you would be like, ah, oh, but you saw it. Yeah. Right? You're like, oh. Some of you be like, what? <laughs> right? If you're like me, you're like, what the? Is he really butt naked? <laughs> and some of you, you know, maybe like PJ or Twitch, you just get up and just, just go bum rush. you be like, not in, not in my daddy's house, right? But we all react differently, amen? amen. But the point is, is that you, you, you just can't control all it, and God knows that. Right. Amen? Hallelujah, God knows that. But this is something that we can actually control in our affirmation. Let's get into this. I'm going I'm to share this with you. Affirm the verb means state as a fact, assert strongly and publicly. The similar word for affirm means to declare, state, assert, proclaim, pronounce, attest, swear, vow, guarantee, promise, certify, pledge, give one's word, give an undertaking. Powerful, amen? amen. Number two, offer someone emotional support or encouragement. This is even more good. You know why? When you affirm through the word, the written word of God, you are encouraging Holy Spirit within you. Amen. You're encouraging God in you. You see, the enemy knows exactly what he can do based on how you speak. That's right? right? right. Oh, Presley, stop teasing me. You are starting up. Well, guess what? Because I said those things, the devil has ears now, family. You're right. And guess what? The devil said, huh, interesting. Because what she did to him, and he reacted out of his identity, I'm going to keep on using that to try to make him go this way. Amen? Amen. Amen. Say it with me, no more. No more. The opposite of affirm, affirm, guess what it is? Deny. Did we not just go through that? Amen. Right? Last week in double-mindedness, you confess in your heart, Jesus is Lord, but you admit in your mind, I am sick. Double-minded. You confess in your heart, I am a child of God. You think in your mind, perverted stuff. Double-minded. Brother Joey, how do I get rid of that? Thank God for Jesus. Amen. It's the blood of God. Amen. It's the blood of God. You thank, you thank God for Jesus. And this is what happens when you thank God for Jesus. Your focus is now not on what you're thinking. Your focus is on beyond what this world can contain. Because you're thanking God for his perfect sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is what happens when you bring the soul, spirit, mind, and the body of Christ together as one. What we call a God man. Say with me, my father loves me. My Lord Jesus Christ died for me. My Lord Jesus Christ died for me. My Holy Spirit resurrected me. My Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's the bottom line about your identity. Amen. We covered this last week, but God said he wanted to go over it. When you ask, you must believe and not doubt. What is doubt? Deny. deny. Do not deny. Well, Brother Joy, you just don't know how long I've been believing this for? Good. Amen. Keep believing. Amen. Well, you just don't know. All right, now you're starting to annoy me because it sounds like you're doubting. And I'm the bad guy when I say this. But you know what, Twitch? I don't care. Amen. Glory to God, I don't care no more. All I care about is what my Lord Jesus says. Amen? Amen. You, you, you know, you start off on fire. Oh my gosh, look at what my Lord did for me. Hallelujah, I have Holy Spirit. Look at all the changes in my life. And you're telling me when one thing goes wrong in your life, you're going to throw all that away and get back into your, your pink pen and sit there and just, oh man, this, this, this crap and poo and he is, oh, just so great. <laughs> right? Look, oh, golly, come here, pigs. Look, right? Preach it. I'm allergic to the pig pen. Amen. 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 Because the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea, blown and tossed by the wind, that person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. 
So I'm going to tell you this to bless your family, your friends, even church family, whoever Holy Spirit puts in your path to pastor or to speak life over. Amen. Amen. If someone is asking for a blessing and a blessing and a blessing and a blessing and a blessing, but yet they're not getting any answers or receiving anything, here is your sign. Don't allow this demonic thing to affect your relationship with God. Amen. Say with me, I am blessed. Just because somebody, a, a, a disobedient child of God or somebody who was on fire and chooses to live in the world. Listen, don't look at them. Don't judge them. Pray for them. But keep focus on Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Keep focus on the one that loves you. Stay focused. You're experiencing the life so amazing. You're experiencing, you're experiencing freedom like you never had before. God saved you, Twitch, from things that you don't even know about. And glory to God. Let's just look forward and say, hallelujah, Lord, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Amen? Amen. Amen. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Amen? Amen. Y'all know, in our house, there's, there's not too many things that annoy Trish and I. I know you guys know that. Many of you have been to our house. But one of the things that really annoy us, and I found this out today, is when one of us don't take out the trash. <laughs> right? Do you ever get to the point where like, you're like putting a foot in it? And the sad thing is, all I got to do is lift it up and just reach around the corner and throw it out. But you're doing everything you can to put more and more in there, right? <laughs> and brother Mike I'm going to tell you Holy Spirit Satan right now take out the trash amen glory to God glory to God come on sister Preston glory to God there's some, there's, some, there's, some, there's, some, there's, some, there's some things there's some people in your life that guess what they just want to weigh you down even they if just want even if it's heavy come on even if it's heavy take it out right we got family amen that church family I had a brother minister to me upstairs. He said, that's why there's family. So to be obedient to what a brother said to me upstairs, you guys noticed that for a while now, we have offering plates up here. I'm going to ask you in this next few moments, as we finish up our worship service, if you have a few dollars to put in there, please put it in there, and we're going to bless Amy to get a tire. Amen. 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 And I ask you to move on, you just find on your heart. Now listen, if your heart is, well, I don't want, don't do it. Amen? But if God moves in your heart and put a dollar, 50 cents, I don't care what it is. And guess what? Amy didn't know about this. So don't come at her going, oh, what did you have to do to get something? <laughs> right? It's just ghetto, but you know, let's just expose the devil, right? Wait, right. come on now. How many of you thought it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, so let's get into this. Praise God. We got, we got about five, six more. So we went into this and uh, got a lot of great feedback because this is, Holy Spirit right now is using this illustration to expose the enemy and to expose what the enemy tries to do in, say with me, I am the temple. I am the temple. So when I say I am the temple, I know that I have a soul, right? My emotions, my character, my feelings, my memories, my soul. I have a soul. I have a heart, a spirit, right? Soul, spirit, but then guess what? If I don't have Jesus, I have this flesh. That's right. yeah, that's right. But all of you here, all of you, because you have Jesus, this is the body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. This is what separates you from everything. God Himself put His stamp, His blood on you. Amen. Say it with me, everything. Right. There, 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 there is no one like you. You are unique. You are, you know, you are anointed. God, God made you specifically, custom made to order, limited edition. Oh. Amen. Come on, Hallelujah! You know what I love about you, Twitch? You just received it all. You said, Heavenly Father, thank you. You, you listen. You li listen. You be thankful that you are created in that marvelous. Perfect 
divine way. You start looking at yourself. I am created by God as unique as I possibly can be for His glory. Don't ever look at yourself. Oh, look at me. I'm not like that person. I don't make that much money. Oh, I'm not as smart as that person. I can't do what that person does. Oh, that person has this. I, devil. Devil. When you look at yourself and you say, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. That you are perfect and you don't make garbage. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll just leave it at that. Amen. Look how crunchy I got in this picture. Right? Right? Now let's back up now. If, if I got spiritual things going on, right? If I got spiritual things going on, what is spiritual things? Addictions. Quickly, addictions, right? Lust. Guess what it does? It attacks my soul. It attacks my soul. And my soul starts attracting like-minded souls that are all under oppression from these different spiritual demonic things. Right? That's the first crunchy. Second crunchy is this. Second crunchy is this. When my soul is stronger than my spirit being, I keep living in the past. I keep living in the abuse. I keep living as that little child that was abused by his daddy. I keep living in that past of being beaten, molested, raped. And guess what it does? It starts to work on your identity. And you start believing that because guess what? Your soul is attacking the Holy of Holies. But when we look at the middle, when you receive Lord Jesus Christ, and now you are the body of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit moves in the Spirit in the Holy of Holies, right? And what does Holy Spirit do? If you let Him, He will start controlling your mind. Oh, come on now, family. And when I say controlling, I don't mean a controlling word. You have to do this. He is the voice of God that leads and guides you and blesses you with wisdom and power and anointing to not only see into the future, but to overcome any situation, to look for anybody. Amen? And that's when you, you have me like that. Praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 4.13 says this, It is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Since we all have the same spirit of faith. Say spirit of faith. Spirit of faith. We also believe and therefore speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead. Will also raise us with Jesus. And present us with you to himself. All this is to your behalf so that. Say with me the grace. grace. That is reaching more and more people. May cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. So Holy Spirit anointing your life, believe it or not, Holy Spirit anointing your life isn't how weird you can act or how religious you can be in church. You need to rebuke that. It's from the pit of hell. It's not about all this walking. Blah, 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 blah. No, that's nothing to do with that. I'm not making fun of nobody, but I am exposing devils now. Holy Spirit is God. and he just, All you got to do is this. And that's what my God preached when he came to this earth wrapped in that perfect agape skin. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He stood, he stood before people who were so religious that guess what? They were all constipated. They were all sick of themselves. Could you imagine? They all hated, it. They all hated themselves. They all hated everything. Everything wasn't holy enough. You know why? The Holy One was standing right there before them. The Holy One was standing right there before them. Right? And what would, what would our God do? What would Lord Jesus do? God is breath. Can you imagine? These crunchy people are like, what did you say? Could you imagine some of them really ignorant, tried not to breathe? <laughs> right? Just to try to prove their point. In my comical way, I see them dropping out, passing out. <laughs> say it with me. Believe and speak. That is the spirit of faith. Believe and speak. Say it with me. Believe, Believe and, speak. and speak. Praise God. We've got one more to go through. Ephesians 6.16. 6, you guys know this already. In addition to all this, take up, say it with me, shield, shield of faith. faith. 
praise God, shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So who will extinguish the, the, the evil darts? I will. That's right. Huh? Who will? What does the word of God say? Who will extinguish the dark? Do you, does God need to extinguish all the fiery? When God says all the fiery darts, that means Satan himself could be throwing the dart. And who did God say will put that fire out? You. Family, help me out now. Is this written in Spanish or Latin or Hebrew or Greek? Who is it? Yeah. You. Who is you? Me. So who's responsible to put that dang dart out? Hallelujah, amen. So God is God is charging you right now that through the spirit of faith, you can use your shield of faith. How? To activate the spirit of faith by speaking life. Say when you speak life. That means if you have poverty attacking you, lack attacking you, distraction from the devil that's touching your finances, maybe touching your children. Maybe touching, I don't know how the enemy's trying to touch you right now. In the name of Jesus, you say, I see what you're doing, Satan. And by the blood of God, my Lord Jesus Christ, you have no authority here. This is God's house. And you must leave in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say it with the shield of faith. So you see the two things here now. We have uncovered the spirit of faith. This is the law now. This is, oh Lord Jesus, thank you for helping me. Yes, I am Islander and I'm standing here in Lebanon, Kentucky in God's Holy Spirit Church. If I was to release this box of tissue paper, what would happen? How do you know that? But I don't, I don't believe in gravity. I, I, I'm a I'm a gravity atheist. <laughs> uh, good word. I'm a, I'm a gravity atheist. I don't believe in gravity. So you're telling me that if I let go of this, it's going to fall to the ground. Yes. I don't believe it, but it's. Well, how do you know? It must be something else other than gravity. It must be something else. So let me ask you this. Yeah, but she's from the pit of hell. <laughs> Coincidence is not a word. It's from the pit of hell, right? Amen. Let me ask you something. If I was Chinese standing somewhere in China and I hold this same box and I let go, what do you think is going to happen? But that Chinese person don't believe in gravity too like me? Still fall to the ground. But there ain't no such thing as gravity in China. Yes, there is. <laughs> no? They all float around. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let, let, let's go ahead in the name of Jesus. We're in China now, okay? okay. I'm Chinese. I'm not going to do it. PJ, stop. I'm not going to do it. Right? This. Damn, I'm so funny. He's going to get you off. All right, so Daniel's in another part of Asia. I'm not going to do it. What God has demonstrated for you is the law of this world yep. called gravity. But there is a law of the spirit of faith. Amen. Come on. And the spirit of faith does not discriminate no. if you're Chinese, Islander, white, Lebanese. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. You can always use the spirit of faith by believing in your heart and speaking life. Amen? Amen. Now remember, the shield of faith, it works hand in hand. But notice the two differences on this board. <coughs> the spirit of faith is in the, faith, that word is in all small letters. You know why? That is our obedience and what we have to do as children of God. But the shield of faith, notice the capital letters, he is the faith. Amen. And who is his name? Lord, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So the same thing applies to this, and then we're going to close. We went just a few minutes over. Praise God. It's okay. God's time. God's time. Amen. Amen. Many of you know that because Holy Spirit is our teacher, he blessed me 
so, 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 so very much. And in a lot of our messages, you guys know I like to use restaurants as an example. Because pray for me, I've been on a diet for a while and I'm starving. And I, I, I love to eat. I do. Like, when I was hugging y'all, I was actually smelling your breath. <laughs> and I know, I know it's weird, but yeah, I know it's weird, but I was like, oh, that just smells so good. Um, but <laughs> Switch is about to lose the bacon. But I just, um, I want to ask you this question. Like, if you was to go to, if you was going to go to your favorite restaurant, right? And in the, in the spirit of faith, you believe with all your heart because you're starving. Let's just, let's just really exaggerate this, okay? Bless the Holy Spirit. Let's just say you haven't ate. Let's say you're just coming off a fast. Let's say you fasted for a couple days. And then God said, I release you to go eat. Go ahead and go to your restaurant, my child, right? What a great feeling, right? Amen. Many of you fast, you know, right? Sister Kathy, you know, right? It's like, oh, hallelujah, right? Right, Brother Daniel? Praise God. And you get to your restaurant, right? How many of you know in all your heart that there's food at that restaurant? Amen. Right? You know this. How many of you know that you, you pretty much know what you're going to order? Yeah. Right? And how many of you know that they have an endless supply there and they're not going to run out? Amen. Yeah. Am, I, am I speaking the truth now? Do you, truly, do you truly believe that? Because see, what Holy Spirit's trying to do is he's trying to bless you and remove things from your heart that is trying to cloud sometimes these walls that we put up and we, we're like mines now. Right? And there's no walls there, but it's like, right? And God wants to say, enough of this. Amen? Amen. Say with me, enough. Amen. Glory to God. So you get to your restaurant, hallelujah. Amen. And this waiter comes. And this waiter comes and he, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> and honestly, the, the, the menu looks like our book. A Cheesecake Factory. Right? I mean, it's like, um, I'm going to order from page 88. <laughs> right? Hey, but everything's great in that cheesecake memory. Uh, um, cheesecake memory. Cheesecake book. Factory. Thank you. Don't be so crunchy. They said me correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. The waiter comes, talks to you, and you sit there, and you believe. Say it with me. I believe. I believe. Do you believe you're going to get fed? Yeah. Do you, believe, do you believe you're going to order what you know, right? See, many of you, you're already there in that restaurant. You know what you're going to get. Yeah. You know, whether you're at Ruth Chris or, or, or a Golden Crew, I don't care where you're at. You're just there and you're ready, right? And the waiter waits and then he's like, I'll be back. And let's say the next one comes. Look on the screen. Let's say the next one. All right, the next one. The next one comes. All these waiters come. All these waiters come. But you believe you're going to be fed, but you just sit there. And you don't speak. What was that, Brother BJ? You ain't going to eat. But you notice, hallelujah, come on, Twitch. But you notice, though, that when this world tries to put pressure on us, that's the first thing we do. We get quiet. We want to get away from the fellowship. Some of us want to start bad mouthing people you once loved. It's the devil. And in Jesus' name, I'm going to ask you to stand up with me. We're going to pray. I'm going to say no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say with me, believe. Believe. Speak. Speak. Hallelujah. In the small group discussion, all as always. Flow like Holy Spirit flows and what you have to share, be transparent. I ask that there be no crosstalk. That, only, that does not only apply to men and women. The reason why, this is all for Holy Spirit worship. We want our brothers and sisters to just share. They don't need to be preached to. I mean this. They don't need to be preached to. They don't need your opinion or feelings about anything. They just want to say what God wants them to say. Amen? Amen. And, and, and I ask you guys to be sensitive with, with that. But here's a couple seeds that Holy Spirit wanted to plant. In what areas of my life does the enemy distract my faith? When the distractions or trials comes my way, how do I use my faith? And does the distractions affect my identity and my faith? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your anointing that only comes through Christ our Lord. 
Lord Jesus Christ, we are eternally grateful. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, the only way we know how to worship you is to say thank you, Father. Thank you for the perfect work that you have done through Christ our Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the fruit of that and you live in every one of us as your beloved children. And Father God, we thank you that tonight you have blessed us, Father, with life-changing revelation in how we believe in you, Lord Jesus Christ, and how we speak the resurrection power of our Holy Spirit, our God. Father, I thank you for blessing our small groups. And Father God, above all, thank you that all your angels are around us fighting for us. Thank you, Father, for going before us and destroying the plots of the enemy. And thank you so much, Father God, for you are the only one good, and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen.